rehearsing in the same Cholton studios once used by the Smiths and poised for similar success. The group would reject that comparison, along with any other you threw their way. After years building up a loyal Manchester following, suddenly they're darlings of the music press and number one in the independent charts, all of which comes as no great surprise. No, I've always had self-belief. I've always believed in what we were doing and we always knew that it'd come through in the end. We just, we all enjoy what we're doing, so we're prepared to stick at it for as long as it takes. We just get on with it. What's that? We just do it, don't feel any different. We just do it. Some of the songs that London are now saying are good records, they're like four or five years old to us. People in Manchester have supported us for like two or three years. The group's new single, She Bangs the Drums, out next week, leaving the public to ask what's in that grapefruit and did they really turn down the chance to sport the Rolling Stones? I just said they were good playing calendar with them if we wanted to. We don't want to. We don't want to warm up for the Rolling Stones in 989. It's we consider chance. ourselves more exciting at this moment in time. We consider ourselves more important. How big do you think the Stone Roses will get? I think we could be the biggest band ever. Really? Yeah. We'll see.